Hello, Vivir and Mr. Who Reviews. Today, reviewing The Flash, The Mask of Red Death, Part 2. And this is the final storyline, or the final part of the Red Death storyline. And I'll say right now, I think uh, this is only okay, and I'll get my uh, you know, get my first thoughts on the storyline itself, and probably near the end or something, but whatever. And we this uh this had uh, Red Death tried to uh, take control of sort of city by just letting loot some red lightning and uh kidnapping the uh, uh, Kramer in the uh, police station. And T Flash do try to figure out Red Death is with the uh, Lucille's uh, telepathic powers. And they able to find her, but Lucille also sees that uh, the Red Death is holding a shell blame somewhere. Um, Barry uh, wants to uh, go save him, but the me the members of his rogues uh, gang are just think thinking of uh, about survival or try to get uh, that down or herself there. I don't want to save him, Mark. But uh, Keon, as he uh, uh, steps up and just convinces him to. Save him. Chill blame. But Barry will let her go, and his reasons are and kind of valid. She is just a few months old and doesn't have any uh, powers or uh, like get the uh, fighting ability, so he's just uh, scared to lose her. That's after uh, losing like, Frost and Caitlin. Oh. And then the chill lane is being held in Red Death's uh, lair. And yeah, it was a trap. And Red Death is still the rest of uh, Barry's speed. And turned out our plan is to send, send out uh, these uh, psychic uh, sentinels that are connected to her. And yeah, her psychic powers are really, uh, uh like, uh, strong. And she does reveal that she made a deal with Grodd to enhance her psychic abilities. And she's saying that her greatest uh, achievement is uh, Barry's greatest failure. Since uh, three years ago, when uh, Barry convinced uh, Grodd to be a hero, he tried looking for a... Uh, uh, the gorilla city, and he found the gorillas, but they're not sentient anymore. They're not as smart as him. So, yeah, later on, I uh, got to say that Barry abandoned him or just didn't, didn't care since it's been three years since he got in their setup on him. So, yeah. Um, after uh, everybody got back to Star Labs, uh, Hartley and the others decided to spend their last day with the people they care about. And after a good talk with uh, Joe, Barry just realizes what he should do and just helps uh, Joe figure out what he should do as well. I get that in a while. And we uh thanks to Barry talking to Grodd and convince him to be the hero he that Barry believes him to be. Grodd just cuts off uh, his collection to Red Death. Like and if I saw uh, Red Death uh can someone. That's one person seeing the TV. And yes, it's one of the sentinels, but they're are kinda of connected to Red Death. Hmm. Um, Barry gets his uh, speed back thanks to uh, Grodd still having a, a spark of speed in him from the last time he and Barry met. So, yeah. And there's a speed to fight, and then the uh, heart and others actually come back. And um, Batwoman shows up and does uh, nullify his red uh, speed for a while. Yeah, and then we, uh, uh, griping over Batwoman 
I come back like they could like, expect her to. But they never explain what happened to her. Why like, she's been gone for weeks and they don't say who did who had was responsible for being missing or where she was. Ugh, dunno. And uh turned out at the end uh they gave a uh, red letter to Argus. Um yeah, Ryan mentions that the uh he's, he's like a fan of Iris's writing and he hangs out with the uh, a uh, Karen uh, Alex having some uh, coffee or something and Iris come join sometime. And I don't know why they had to so two flashbacks from uh, the last uh, Grodd episode from three years or three seasons ago. The day people will forget that quickly. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, with the uh, John Lucille, Joe decides to move to the country with uh, Jenna with Lucille staying since he do not want to get in her way of being a hero on that. So now we have a party, and I think it's the last episode of Joe's uh, actor. He's going to be in the show, but maybe he'll just turn up at the end. And I'd say, uh, I think the actor playing Joe was just uh, great. I really liked the character he was doing in that, and that's such a good stuff. Oh, yeah, and Joe Blaine uh, was uh, brought back to life thanks to get current. Uh, yeah, can you, can you um, give him a kiss or something? Yeah, I heard that in the next episode I'm going to explain more about our powers, but... Hmm. And he, some, he, was some, he was somehow able to tell that Iris was pregnant when she was being lightheaded during the party. Does is, is he have the ability to sense a life or something or control life? Hmm. And they finally got uh, uh, Cam Camilla and uh, Chester together. I don't think they need to do a, ra a round uh, turn with the camera. I think it works better when uh, Bar Baron and are kissing in the, f in the in last time, but uh, whatever. Um, yeah, like I said, this episode was just okay. It was. I think it just leaves it too many questions. I never really explained like the timeline thing, and they only to find another way to put a red debt in a like back to her own time. Uh, don't know, and I don't know why. Like I, 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 like, I guess why they only show red debt. I kill him one person, but I think they they just hyped it up uh, too much in the episode season five when Barry and Iris went to uh went went into uh Nora's mind and Captain Singh was saying how many how many people were dead is killed, and did they say in this that the timeline uh, it's uh, changing since back in it as a one the book that Barry made the Iris gonna get. Uh, pregnant in three months. I don't know how long I've been in this, but mm. and if that's changed, I wonder if they're gonna make a uh, uh Nora and Bert uh twins in this. So in a way, yeah, get give us the tornado twins. So oh, that's a at least uh, something. Um, yeah, I think it's uh. Eric need another episode to explain all this stuff. Like I don't know how uh, Red Dead knew about Crisis or where Grodd was or the stuff with the the this uh, shades uh, shades force when I uh, mentioned how uh, when uh, the person with the shades force uh, maybe uh, see Savitar and when Savitar stabbed him, he nearly, nearly actually died even though he was in his mind. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of problems with this. Like, I think a few episodes in this were 
kind of good. I'm just wondering what they're going to do with Ed Chilblain now. They're going to put him at Kion. Or is he just going to be by himself when they go back to the main team at some point? But ugh. I just hope the rest of the episodes for the season are good on the storyline with Color Blue. It's good because it, this season has to be good. It's the last season, this has to be good. And I heard the, the guy in charge of the show said that the, the guy explain the timeline stuff since it's in. Important, but they didn't. Ugh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, and I'll see you guys later.